back to CTR now. Um, I figured I already started the Let's Play of this game. I might as well just, you know, continue it. I think the last time we left off was Sewer Speedway, and I don't know. Since it's on hard, I might need to restart this track because this track can be very, very annoying, especially with the shortcut. It's kind of RNG whether you get it or not, but I feel like if I do good enough, I can, you know, make something out of it. And also, yeah, I haven't explained this in my last couple videos, but uh, I'm doing a new thumbnail type thing. So anyone that happens to find this video, if they ever watch it, I want you to know, I, I want you to let me know if it's good or not. If I should add more, if I should add less, make it simpler. But for now, that's as simple as I can make it. Rather than just taking, like, something from the video and actually trying to make it look good. And that's what I'm talking about with the shortcut, if you didn't know. I just happened to fail at first try. Alright, I can make a comeback though. The only thing annoying about the bots is that they use the items and they hit you almost 100% of the time if you're even near them. But then you try to hit them with any item, it's kind of like death for yourself. Alright. Let's see if we can hit the shortcut again. There we go. So that saves me time from playing this map again. That doesn't. Come on, we have one more lap left. I can do this. I used to be pro at this game. What happened? I say pro, but it took me so many tries to beat the developer time trial, even Oxide, even Entropy. I thought Entropy was impossible to beat one time, but I beat him with Acceleration, the, which if you didn't know, there's different types of classes on this game. There's Speed, Acceleration, Drift, um, Balance? And turning. Yeah, yeah, I got all of them. And one you really don't want to play unless it's like a certain map is turning. Is it really... It's really slow and it's used for, you guessed it, turning. So if you try to turn even like one centimeter, it turns you all the way to the right. So... But... I beat it, so we don't have to do Sewer Speedway again until if I decide to do, you know, 100% this little run. But we should be on the Papu's Pyramid side of the game. I think it's Papu's Pyramid, Tiger's Temple, um, Coco Park, and I forgot the last one. But it shouldn't be a problem. Alright. Give me that trophy. Now let's watch Spyro. The best dragon in the world. Name a better dragon than Spyro. It's probably another loading screen. Oh wait, no, never mind. Oh, I have to fight the boss. I forgot about this. gonna skip so the bosses the four main bosses that you need to defeat or is it three they're not that hard it's just oxide he throws like every item if you're behind him at all 
he doesn't throw items when you're in front of him. So you have to be in front of him the entire time. So I can see why when this game first came out, that was a pretty hard challenge to do. Until, you know, you do the time trials for him and then it's even harder. But actually, yeah. Before people didn't like, I don't know. There's like a strat you can do on this track to get you 56 seconds. All right. I just need a. So he's only throwing TNT. That didn't even touch me. Okay, if I just take the shortcut, he can't really be in front of me any longer. I just gotta watch out for the TNT that he left on the way here. But I have a shield, so I sh shouldn't really worry about it too much. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I guess the TNT runs out. I didn't know that. But then this is light work. Anyways, I used to speedrun this track actually and I almost got the fastest time but there was a couple more people in front of me. I had 113 on this track and then there was people getting 111. And I got 113. And that was most than everyone. I really did like speedrunning some of the tracks on this game like I really found nothing to do except for actually do that after the time trials the developer time trials at that like at the end of this game's lifespan there was really nothing you can do afterwards except for grind to get all the stuff if you got it late because there's the pit stop where you can buy like all the carts and stuff, but I only really use one, so I don't really bother buying the carts. Actually, I have all the carts already. It's just the costumes and characters. I have all the characters, but their costumes are like lost because I don't feel like getting them. And if I played this game long, long after it even... Well, sadly, as much as I don't want to say it died. Um, wait. Oh. Oh, come on. I'm explaining something. Alright, but anyways. Kind of just miss... Uh, What am I? Oh. I probably would have enough coins, Wumpa coins, to even, like, get the stuff. But, honestly, it seems like a lot of work, and I probably wouldn't have done it anyways. Alright, let's get into Coco Park. <sighs> but, I don't know. I, I explained it the last time. The, I played this game, but this is just a game where it holds a special place in my heart because of how much I actually played it and how good it was despite all the glitches that were in it. I kind of just miss the OG style gameplay racing. I know a lot of lots of people like Mario Kart, and I don't blame them. It's actually... A really fun game it just makes you hate your friends and that's something that's you know not too good about a game <laughs> but I don't know I think it's overrated and we need more games like this a game to return or either a game to like surpass some of the games that have been taken over the past couple of years actually Mario Kart 8 has been out for a while. They've been making new Mario parties, but not a new Mario Kart. 
and I can't blame them because a lot of people play Mario Kart still. It's kind of like Smash Bros. You know, Smash Bros kind of had what everyone wanted, except for me because I wanted Spyro or Crash in the game, but no, they could have even pulled like a sneaky one and added Master Chief in, but you know, we can't all have what we want. Hold on, I remember there's a... Okay, I, I did it wrong. You can go up that rock and it's an instant shortcut, by the way. But that game had what everyone wanted, everyone asked for, you know, competitive, competitively it had, you know, air dodges, a multiplayer that was semi-good, like the online, not the matchmaking because it would put you in games even though you had a certain rule set set, it would put you in a game with four other people and it would be a free-for-all instead of a 1v1 for the competitive players, but... Enough about Smash, about this game again. <laughs> uh, and speaking of the topic of netcode and connection, this game was... That was one of its drawbacks of this game. the trophy, I get it. Congratulations. You win a trophy. What do you have to say to me now? The more Whopper fruit you collect, the faster your cart will go. If you collect and hold 10 Whopper fruits, you'll be juiced up and your power up will become more potent. All right. Oh, I can't go there yet. All right, I get it. To I'll access this track, you must first collect the number of trophies required. All right. Um. Ouch. Well, yeah, I think this one's Tiger Temple now. Mhm. Mm it is. All right. Um. I'm just gonna do this one and then end it. How about that? Oh my... Okay, I hope that... Alright, so this map... This is one of the easiest and hardest maps for the developer time trials. For two reasons. One, the shortcut is what makes it hard because you have to cut through like yards of grass which really it's not even that here I'll show you yeah so it's not efficient at all and I can't even drift in it unless I'm going fast enough But you gotta do that perfectly three times. If you don't do it perfectly, you kinda just, you know, lose. Oh, yep. 
I saw that one coming. But other than that, it, it's easy because it's a really short track. So if you mess up those, you know, major times, you can just reset or restart the race, and it won't even take you that long to get to the third lap again. Because the um, I think they mess up a couple times. Definitely on the shortcut that I'm talking about because it's really hard to get. I think it might be just more efficient to take the long way around. But there is an efficient way and it, if you jump right before the grass or right before you hit the grass, you can just keep jumping and then you go through the grass. But if you jump in the grass, it slows you down a lot. So it's something you never want to do in this game. <sighs> Show your moves. Alright, and that was the last race that I was going to do. Let's see what Aku Aku has to say. If, you know, the game ever loads. This is another drawback of the game. The loading times are... Well, not that great. Alright, and then we just skip this. Sorry, Coco. Uh, 